hundreds of purchase orders and their many configurations can be confusing for the newcomer. During training, a lot of precious time is spent on covering these settings. By making this video, I'm hoping that we will be able to free up some time to cover more topics. There are many types but I will explain one of the most commonly used, the service purchase order. To keep our focus on purchase orders and to keep this video as short as possible, I have made some preparations in the SAP system. These steps are documented in my blog. If you want me to make a video on any of those steps then send me a request through my blog. I will try my best to accommodate your request. Among the various roles and responsibilities of an MM consultant, the most sought out skill is the ability to work with the purchase orders. This is very important for those of you who are seeking a career as an SAP MM consultant. The amazing thing about these videos is that the more you watch them, the more sense they will make. So watch this video over and over again to master the basic concepts. Hello, my name is Varsha Vilankar and I am a logistics consultant. I hope this video will help you make sense of the purchase orders. However, if you know better and spot any mistakes, please send me a suggestion through my blog. I am assuming that you already know how to navigate in the SAP software. But if you need help in that area, please check out our other videos on our website homepage for navigating the SAP software. If you are frequently purchasing new stock from vendors and fulfilling multiple orders every day, then it is essential that you have a good purchasing process in place. One of the cornerstones of an efficient purchasing process is purchase orders. They give you a record of what has been ordered which is essential for keeping track of your inventory and extremely useful for both forecasting and reporting on many aspects of your business. Purchase order processing is something that a surprising number of small businesses don't do properly. Often it is seen as a hassle or something for the accountant or bookkeeper. Not so. Purchase order processing is an essential part of any retailer or wholesaler's day-to-day -day operation. Even if you place orders on the phone or using your supplier's B2B portal, it's important to also enter it in your system for a number of reasons. Here's why. Once your system has purchase orders stored, you and your team have an instant visibility of incoming stock, how much is coming and when it is due to turn up. Placing purchase orders at the time of ordering goods is essential. It's no good creating a purchase order in arrears as soon as the goods turn up at the door. If you have placed a purchase order with a supplier and they have either started to manufacture or have shipped the goods, then you most likely have an obligation to pay at some point, even though your accounts don't yet show a purchase invoice. This is important when producing the year-end accounts and auditors often require it. A properly managed purchase order system will quickly tell you what's been ordered, what's been shipped, what's been received but not invoiced and so on. Display purchase order information to sales team when they are checking stock levels. Then if you run out of something but they can see that 100 more are due to arrive tomorrow, they will be more confident in taking the sale. It's important to manage your purchase orders with accurate delivery dates for this reason. Creating purchase orders in the system will help prevent ordering more of an item than you may need. If items are on a purchase order, you can easily see the on-order quantity in your order processing system. The team or the individual that receive goods into the stock when shipment arrives may very well not be the same person that placed the order. If you are placing orders over on the phone and not using purchase orders, then nobody really knows what you ordered. It may be a long time before you realize that the urgent order for 100 computers only contained 80 and that the customer who ordered them may not know until it's too late. If your goods receivable team know what you ordered, then they can quickly get in touch with the supplier if they are missing items or incorrect items. Many suppliers require you to notify them of incorrect deliveries within 24 hours which is easy to spot if you can cross-reference the supplier delivery note with the purchase order.
When you place the orders for the goods, you were either quoted a price or were working off of a price list sent to you by the supplier at an earlier date. If you created a purchase order at the time of placing the order containing the price, then there will be no ambiguity as to what the invoice value should be. If your supplier later sends you an invoice for a different value, you will spot it straight away when you receive the purchase invoice against that purchase order. It's also common for a supplier with inferior systems to send you an invoice for items that never turned up or perhaps the wrong model. You will be able to take this up with them quickly and clearly when you press in the original purchase order that was sent. Cost of sale is an accounting term that appears on your profit and loss report. Revenue less cost of sale gives you gross profit. In SAP software, cost of sale information is taken from the actual values of goods shipped to the customer. The value of goods come from the value on the purchase order or on a stock correction without purchase order or the value you have put into the default cost price of the product. If you use purchase orders to add inventory, any changes to the item values between receiving goods and receiving invoices are automatically accounted for. So your cost of sales will always be spot on. If you are not using purchase orders to receive goods, then your cost price list values are quite possibly off date since inventory added by stock correction is never reconciled against a purchase invoice. Sounds complicated? Well, it is. But that's why having a solid system to manage cost and accountings for inventory is so useful. Without tightly controlled system and processes such as SAP, you will only generate accurate cost of sale data for your profit and loss reports after stock taking, which at the best happens once a month. With your purchase orders and accounting in the same place, your profit and loss report is always up to date. The time you save later is more than offset by the time you spend getting purchase orders and inventory values correct. In many cases, your supplier won't be able to send you all the goods you ordered for in one go. No problem. If you're managing your supply chain using purchase orders, then you can easily track what has been received, what hasn't been. You can make a daily check on anything that's outstanding and follow up with the supplier to send you those last computers that did not come in the first shipment. Using purchase orders give you a trail of invaluable information about your purchasing and cost cycles. Next time you have a meeting with a supplier to negotiate a discount or place an purchase order for the next season's good, you can go armed with knowledge of exactly what you bought last year, what you paid for them, and how fast the supplier managed to deliver to you. If you ever had to go back and query a troublesome delivery or check the tracking references for a shipment, you should be able to find the information on the purchase order history. A purchase order detail report will give you line by line information as to what you bought in any period from a certain brand, supplier or a product line. You will also get the prices that you paid for these items. Lots of valuable information in here can be used to ascertain which items are becoming prohibitively expensive or even just to get more visibility on what your inventory is costing you. If you have got tens of thousands of SKUs, information stored in the purchase order system will be invaluable when trying to find out where an item can be shipped from. You may not have assigned a product to a supplier, but if you manage your purchase order process carefully, then it is easy to have a look at the inventory audit trail for an item to see who you bought it from in the past. Putting barcode labels on your products make it faster to process sales at point of sale and reduce errors as long as you get the right labels on the right product. Keeping on top of label printing can be daunting task if your products don't already come with barcodes on. The best time to put a barcode on your products is when the goods first arrive in your business, which is the same process as purchase order goods receipts. 
This is also the point at which your system can exactly see how many products have just arrived and in order to print the right number of barcodes. Last but perhaps the most important, you need to make sure that your purchase information is stored in a system that can be shared among others in your business. Many companies rely on just one person to place orders. That's not a good idea. Since all purchasing information is in that person's head and the chances of errors are high. An integrated system let people keep an eye on each other to stop things falling through the net. It lets you share responsibilities when someone is ill or on a vacation. Sometimes it might feel like you're doing an extra work by creating purchase orders. But the benefits easily outweigh the time taken. To summarize, the purchase order is a legal binding document between the organization and the vendor for procurement of goods and or services at an agreed price, schedule and a fixed quantity.